Greetings all and welcome to another lesson in our derivative series. In the last lesson, we started our discussions on options. Let us continue the discussion with few terminologies in this lesson. The first term that we're going to talk about is strike or also called as strike step. Strike step is the price at which you can buy or sell options to exercise and the set has equal difference between each strike. Let me give you an example to understand this. Consider you want to go from Bangalore to Delhi, but this time you want to go in train. So you can go the train from Bangalore and the train before it reaches to Delhi has stops at regular interval and finally it reaches Delhi. Now these stops are also called as stations or junctions and only on these stations or junctions passengers can board or deboard. If we don't have the stations and if we allow a passenger to board or deboard anywhere, train might stop every five minutes and no one will reach anywhere. The same is the case with stock options. When we are trading in stock options, we cannot randomly buy options at any price. Rather, there are a set of strikes standardized by exchange and only on these strikes buyers and sellers will meet to exchange. You see, strikes are also like junction which are very important to ensure there is liquidity. If we do not have these strikes and if buyer and seller were to buy and sell options at any given price, then there would have been liquidity issue. To ensure options work smoothly, every stock has a set of prices called as strike price. A different stock have a different price and hence they have a different set of strike. Consider example of Maruti. Maruti is at 8,800 rupees. It will have strike set, let us say from 5,200 all the way down to 10,200. And each strike will have a difference of 100 rupees. This 100 is also called as strike step. However, take another example of say Punjab National Bank. Now Punjab National Bank will also have strike steps and these strikes are from say 20 to 50 and each strike will have a difference of 1, 1 rupee. So the bigger the stock, bigger is the strike step and the smaller the stock, smaller is the strike step. As a trader, you can buy or sell any strike irrespective of the stock price. For example, in spite of Maruti being at 8,800, I can buy either a 7,500 call or a 9,500 call or if I want to buy a put, I can buy say 8,000 put or 9,000 put. It is absolutely up to me to which strike to be chosen. Now which strike gives the highest profit? This is something that we are going to discuss shortly. Also, depending upon where the current market price is, these strikes are categorized into three types. In the money, at the money and out of the money. Since call and put are opposite to each other, the definition of in the money, at the money and out of the money for call and for put will also be opposite to each other. Let us talk about in the money first. The definition of in the money is very simple. For in the money call, if strike price is less than current market price, all those strikes will be called as in the money call. Similarly, if the strike price is greater than current market price, all the strikes will be called as in the money put. In the case of Maruti, whose current market price is 8,800, any strike below 8,800 will become in the money call and any strike above 8,800 will become in the money put. Next, let us talk about at the money. The definition for at the money call and put is exactly the same. That is, if strike price is equal to or nearly equal to the current market price, that strike will be called as at the money. If Maruti is at 8,800, then 8,800 call and 8,800 put will become at the money call and at the money put. Next is out of the money. Now, out of the money call is any strike that is greater than current market price. And in the case of put, any strike greater than current market price is called as out of the money put. So if you notice carefully, 
in the money call and out of the money put are same similarly out of the money call and in the money put are also same here is the table for your reference take a screenshot and memorize this as we are going to use this a lot as we go ahead in the lesson the next topic is pricing of the strikes now each strike has a different price and the price of the option is derived by mathematical formula the two main component of option pricing is intrinsic value and extrinsic value intrinsic value is very simple it is just the difference between current market price and strike price whereas extrinsic value is made up of complex mathematical formula in a calculator called as black scholes calculator as a trader you need not memorize the black scholes calculator at all you can simply trade just by seeing the option premium however let us understand the pricing of all the options in detail the formula for in the money option is in the money options beat call or put is nothing but sum of intrinsic value plus extrinsic value the value of at the money is just extrinsic value the reason being intrinsic value that is the difference between current market price and strike price is anyway zero in the case of atm and for otm also the value of otm is just extrinsic value now we have understood intrinsic value it is just the difference between current market price and strike price and as i said extrinsic value is difficult to mathematically calculate however to give you a rough idea on what exactly extrinsic value depends upon it mainly depends upon the difference between current market price and strike price so the higher the difference between current market price and the strike price lower is the extrinsic value example for your reference current market price of maruti is 8800 i am just going to plot all the strikes say from 8400 all the way till 9200 as i said extrinsic value directly depends upon the difference between current market price and the strike price so extrinsic value will be highest at atm that is at the money will have highest extrinsic value because that is the strike at which difference between current market price and strike price is the least in our example say 8800 is atm and hence its premium is say 50 now as i said this 50 is calculated by complex mathematical formula will not go there but for now just understand that let us say extrinsic value is 50 Now look at eight thousand seven hundred strike and eight thousand nine hundred strike. Both the strikes are hundred rupees away from the current market price, and hence both the strikes will have same premium, and it will be lesser than ATM. In our case, let us say it is forty each. Next, look at eight thousand six hundred and nine thousand strike. Each strike. has a premium of say 30 rupees similarly 8500 and 9100 will have a premium of 20 rupees and 8400 and 9200 will also have premium of 10 rupees so you can see the farther we go from the center lower is the premium to memorize this concept you can even compare it with the arrow and the dot board game You see, when you want to score a highest point, you throw the arrow at the center. Center is your bullseye, which gives you highest point. The farther you throw the arrow from the center, be it on the left side or on the right right side, you score lesser point. And even the arrow and the dartboard game have equal rings at equal interval. Those rings can also be represented as strikes. Now, based upon the above model of extrinsic value. the entire value of each strike can be theoretically calculated with this example consider the maruti's current market price is 8800 and again i am taking the strikes 8400 500 600 700 800 900 9000 9100 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, and 9200 as explained the premiums for the strikes will be 10 20 30 40 50 40 30 20 10, 10 on each side and now for in the money we just have to add intrinsic value intrinsic value for 8700 call will be 100 rupees 8600 call will be 200 8500 call will be 300 and 8400 call will be 400 you see we are adding intrinsic value only to in the money options whereas otm 
will not have any intrinsic value just the extrinsic value will be the final value the same logic is applicable for in the money puts and out of the money puts in in the money puts will add 100 200 300 and 400 rupees that is the difference between current market price and strike price and after the addition the final value of these options are 410 320 230 140 so forth and so on so this is how options are priced so next time when you see some price of an option you know what exactly it is composed of in the next video i am going to show you the same calculation in the live market and i am going to take few trades in options see you in the next lesson